Hi there, I'm Rosanna and I'm a makeup artist. This is my model Alicia and today we're going to be creating three super simple micro makeup looks for Halloween. So the first look we're going to be creating is a really cool Queen of Hearts lip look. In preparation for this look, we've blanked out the lips with a concealer. The first step is then to sketch out the shape of the heart on the lip using a lip liner. It's always a great idea to start with the cupid's bow and then just gently sketching the shape of the heart onto the middle of the lip. Once you're happy with the shape of your heart, you then need to apply a liquid lipstick. So I'm now just going to define the edges once again with the liner and just make sure the shape is nice and clear. And the last stage of this makeup is to add some glitter. Using a small brush, just pat the glitter right on top of the heart, like so. So just to finish off, we're going to add a sweep of blusher to the cheekbones. As well as some sparkle. And there you have it, your Queen of Hearts micro look. So the next micro look we're going to create, which is super easy and simple, is a neon robot lip look. In preparation for this look, we've already applied the foundation and blanked out the lips with concealer. Using a liquid lipstick, apply a generous coat of the colour all over the lip. We're going to take the lipstick and take it right over the edges of the lip line, and this is to create a glowing lip look. The next stage is to blend over the lip line with a brush, and this is just to create a soft, diffused effect. After this, you want to create, using a lighter colour, the ombre effect on the inside of the lip. So gently apply the brighter colour on the inside of the lip. So then once you've applied the brighter colour onto the inside, just gently blend out the edges using a brush. For the final step of this look, we're going to use a white liquid liner, and this is going to create the illusion of a neon effect. So just like you would line your lips with a pencil, taking the liquid liner, just sketching around the shape of the lip. And to enhance the look, make sure you use liquid liner. And there you have it, your Neon Robot Micro Look. The final micro look is the Broken Doll. As you can see, I've already prepped and primed the skin and created the doll eye makeup look. I'm now going to show you how to create the cracked cheek effect. Using a felt or liquid liner, gently sketch on some shapes coming from the eyes, like so. A tip for creating the cracked look is to use small, simple brush strokes. For a more dramatic effect, make some of the cracks larger. To make this look even more gory, I'm going to show you how to use liquid latex. I'm now applying the liquid latex using a small synthetic brush, and then I'm going to wait for it to dry, which takes around five minutes. So I've waited five minutes, and now I'm going to add the second layer. While the latex is still tacky, grab a small foam brush, and so to finish off, just go over any last details with the liquid liner. And there you have it, the Broken Doll look did nice and easily. We hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more looks just like this. Bye! Bye.